Hello my friends! Today we're having a really quick tip on how to fix chromatic aberration using Photoshop. You can also do this in Lightroom, but sometimes you realize it after the fact and you already left Lightroom, which happened to me in this case. So I'm going to show you how to really quickly go into Photoshop and fix this annoying chromatic aberration. So grab your beverage of choice, your coffee, and let's get started right away, shall we? the joys of chromatic aberration. Do you see it? Right here. Now I've already left Lightroom and usually I would tackle this kind of problem in Lightroom but I'm not going back so I'm going to show you two quick ways to fix chromatic aberration in Photoshop. The first one is basically what I would do in Lightroom. I would go to filter Sorry, I need a new, I need to be on my right layer here. You need to be on a good layer, otherwise it won't um, allow you. So you go into filter and then you go here where it says camera raw filter. This opens up this menu right here, which is basically identical to Lightroom. Now what I do is I zoom in by just clicking with my mouse or my pen on this area that I want and I just want it a little bit bigger so I'm pressing command plus to get it a little bigger and maybe a little bit more so there now we're nice and big now you're gonna take this eyedropper tool or this sample fringe tool and what bothers me is this red line right here now if I take my dropper it tells me it's not inside the supported range so it can be a little bit hit and miss and it won't let me. So this is super frustrating because you know, you can see that there is chromatic aberration. There's also some green stuff here and I could fix that by just clicking into it and see the green amount, it just changed. I'm gonna try this again here and it won't let me. There, now we got it. But do you see what happened? It turned the entire area gray. So to me, this is absolutely not useful. And also see on his eye hair, it turned gray as well and lost all colors. So I personally am very hesitant when I have to use the fringe tool. So I'm gonna click cancel because I don't like this. Yes, I wanna dismiss all of the changes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna click in that little plus icon which brings up a new layer. And I'm going up into my blend modes and set it to color. And now I'm gonna fix chromatic aberration by hand. And the advantage here is I have it on a separate layer. So if my changes are too intense, I can always dial it back by the opacity. So without further ado, let's show you how this is done. You're gonna grab your brush tool, press B for the brush, and then you wanna make sure it's at 100% opacity and at 100% flow. Now. I'm going to make my brush smaller and I press the left bracket key to do so. And then I'm going to sample colors from the skin that are close to the area that are affected. So I'm pressing my option key. This brings out the sampler tool and click pretty close to where there is chromatic aberration. And I just, this is too pink. So I'm going to click a little bit further in and I'm starting over here. And I think this is still a little bit too intense. So I'm gonna go away from here. This is more saturated, this is more desaturated. So I'm just gonna go and desaturate it just a little bit more. This should give me a better, there, see, this match is perfect. And now I'm gonna click into the lip color right here. And then I'm just painting over his lips. And you wanna make sure that you keep sampling because color changes and you want to make sure that whenever your um, adjacent color changes that you pick that color up so here again I'm going to sample and this is definitely much better than it was before now I'm also going to do something about that slightly green area up here. So I'm gonna click in there and I'm painting that on here. And there, that's better. Now let me show you the before and after. Pay attention here. 
in that area after before after I should probably give this a name I label it color so I know what blend mode has set it to so to recap you can fix chromatic aberration by clicking into filters just make sure you are not on a folder make sure you're in an actual layer so you go filter and then camera raw filter and under camera raw filter you click right here into the differentiate or optics it's under optics no I don't want to do that that was the first method and the second method was color method I just clicked here into a new layer set the blend mode to color and then made sure that I sampled very close to the um, affected skin area so that was it well my friend this was a quick and easy trick wasn't it be sure to subscribe to my channel for more such quick tips and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up I will see you again next week and I hope you have the best time until then. Oh, and if you have any requests for me, what you would like me to cover in the future on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. I really look forward to hearing from you. Until then, I see you. Bye-bye.